welcome and thank you for joining me here on our day 26 on our 30 day 10 minutes workout challenge great that you're here good job i'm excited to see you again today's session we're going to do a high intensity resisting training session that means we are going to do a pulse sequence and a string sequence so you're going to bring your dumbbell my dumbbell is seven kilo each and that will be 15 pounds but as all the other session here when we are bringing our dumbbells you might have a different sets and you can bring that and you can alternative between the exercises and what kind of dumbbell you're going to bring and of course depending on your exercise level we are working for the 45 seconds and 15 seconds for the next exercise so that's what we're going to do we're going to work it in a super set so we're going to start out by doing a the lunges where we are going to do a biceps curl and we're going to do that for 45 seconds 15 seconds to, to going to a mountain climber where we are clapping alternative shoulders so those two exercises for three rounds and then we're moving on to our second superset with two new exercises which i will show you in a little bit of a break so we're, let's go we are just uh, bringing our dumbbells and uh, we are ready warming up a little bit here and opening up so reaching from one side to the other one as we are pushing back with that elbow and bending and straightening in our knees so going from one side to the other one doing a slight movement of uh, lunges squeezing back and let's do that for four reaching up three two and to the opposite side knee up behind toe and moving up getting that squeeze in our glute muscle and let's go for four and three and two and into center here we are going all the way up reaching up for the ceiling and hands are going down again reaching up bringing that chest up and one more slowly down reaching up staying up here pulling one arm down at the time so get into that good position where you have your chest up and your chin and squeezing connecting with your muscle around your shoulder blades both arms are coming down and up and we're turning into a squat and pushing up for another four inhale exhale and two more and then we're ready for the workout and easing off and loosening up so you're going to bring your dumbbell we're going to go into alternative lunges right and left leg doing a biceps curl and up to a standing position so as we do the biceps curl we are going up to the straight position and we're going to do a bit of a tri triceps kickback so feeling both in front and back as we are using our lower body as well so a great full body exercise this one because we're also connecting with our core muscles do it in the correct way so we are counting down here and we'll bring those dumbbells into a nice position here stepping back with our leg and doing the biceps curl so bring those dumbbells up and to a straight position as we're engaging our glute muscle we are engaging the triceps as well squeezing shoulders coming down up we go so we're working this super set try to go all the way down into a 90 degree position in your front leg squeezing every single fiber in your body as you're doing this movement not working for that long only 10 more 10 more 10 like no more uh, minutes but 10 minutes in all so bring it up feel the front and the back of your arms pushing off straight position put your dumbbells where you can see them ready for the pulse sequence for a mountain climber tapping shoulder so in here alternative right and lift arm two and one so up we go and squeezing your core muscle and if it's away enough just doing the mountain climber you're just gonna go ahead and do that the important thing is that you are getting shorter breath reaching up get good shoulder stability here and up we go 
almost there. Connecting for another 10 seconds. Squeezing, helping with your core. You can do it. And up we go. Back to exercise number one. Lunges, biceps, triceps. Chest is coming up, shoulders are coming down. And we are getting, get going here. Down, up, squeezing. Keep your chest up high. And reaching up, squeezing your arms. It's not going to happen by itself. Bring it up. Slowly down, squeezing up. And you just move in the speed and time that fits you the best with good quality. Slowly down, moving up again. Yes, dumbbells to the side. Mountain climber, second round. Tap your shoulder or just do ordinary mountain climber. Engage your core muscle and we are bring that arm up and back to center right underneath your shoulders. Bring it up. Inhale and exhale. Squeezing. Keep it going. Try to look a little bit in front of you, not looking down on your knees. When you're looking at your knees, you usually get your buttocks up and going and we want to keep it down to connect with our app area. Only five seconds. Yes. One more on each and halfway there. Ready for the lunges? Biceps, triceps, stepping back, lifting, squeezing. A little bit further back when you're standing up to get your triceps on the move. Shoulder down. You know you're only working this final round of this exercise. Feel a little bit shorter breath. You can do that when you're uh, way working with your dumbbells as well. Ready for mountain climber tapping shoulder. Four seconds, three, two, and one. Let's go. A final round here, halfway there. Only one more superset. So connecting with those core muscles, get that squeeze, get shoulder breath, pushing it to the limit as good as you can, taking care of yourself, of course. So I'm pushing you, but no, not more than you can handle. Always look after for yourself and bring it up. Ten more seconds. Squeezing up we go and we are ready. Yes. So we are just stopping this guy for just a bit here and we are. I will show you the two next exercises. So we are going to do a squat row. So we are bringing our dumbbells in front of us and we're bringing them back, squeezing, keeping shoulders down. And we are going to do that combined with a body twist where we are getting some speed on because it is a pulse sequence. So down here, usually we do the body twist here, but now we're trying to do jumping on the spot 
And if this is too much, you just go up on your feet, do some jogging on the spot, skipping whatever your favorite dance move. Just as long as you keep yourself going for the fifth, for the 45 seconds. We are counting down, grabbing our dumbbells, squat to row. Chest is up, good distance between our feet, and we are squatting down, pushing it up. So bring those dumbbells down, not bending in your back, but pushing your buttocks back. Big difference. Up we go, pushing our butt back. So we keep the weight on our heels and away from our knees. Up, doing the retraction with our shoulder blades. Bring it up and bring it back down. Squeeze. And as the first exercise, every muscle fiber is almost working here. So we're going into that body twist position, jumping weight up on our arms, makes it easier to move those legs. So twisting as we are jumping off the floor. So do that twisting with your body. And again, you can go up and if you get too much pressure on your shoulder joint, go up and do some high knees, some jumping jacks, whatever is best. Always a possibility to do it. Squeezing, inhale, exhale. Yes, let's go for 10 more seconds, keeping the plank position, turning, twisting, feel your oblique muscle helping you during the twist. Yes, up we go, squat to row, second round out of three, shoulders are back, <sighs> keep the distance between your feet, keep your chest up, squeezing every single muscle, pushing it up, bring your chest up but don't pushing your hip forward. Stop, let it be your glute muscle stopping you from doing the hyperextension up here and not pushing forward. Squeezing. Five seconds. Yep, dumbbell down where you can see them. Down into the body twist jump. Four seconds. Let's go for the shorter breath. Squeezing and rotating. Ah, oh, do something. Standing, twisting. Working for those 10 minutes. Keep intense, keep the focus in what you are doing. 20 seconds, lifting, turning. So kick in with those oblique muscle, only one of each to go in a few seconds. Yes. Getting up for that squat and row our final time. Shoulders are coming back and we are ready. Final set here, final round. Bring it up. Squeezing, I know we can do it. Our final one, inhale and exhale. Squeeze. Up to do that the retraction with our shoulder blades, connecting with the muscle, pushing back that glute area, buttocks back, up we go. 10 more seconds 
and a final exercise. And we are heading in here, doing the body twist jump final time and then you are all there. And you've been doing a great workout. Two and one. So jumping, twisting, jumping, twisting. Two bites on your shoulders. You can go up here doing a twisting and turning instead. Make that move a little bit similar and twist. Inhale and exhale. Keep it going. 20 seconds left and it's only counting down. Time is keep going. Or oh, it's seconds. And we did it. Great. So boosting that metabolism, working each short period of time, keeping the muscle tissue building up instead of tearing down great wonderful job here on day 26 getting close to the 30 day and today's challenge is uh it actually challenged for three days and it's going to keep going even though we get a new challenge tomorrow and that is to be without no sugar for three days i think you right now know that i'm hunting that sugar part because it still is not bringing energy even though it feels like it in the moment it's keep taking the energy out of the body so you might want to do some stretching i'll put a link on top and below and uh, i will see you for tomorrow on day 27 where we are going to do some price biceps and triceps workout. So we uh, bring your dumbbells and we are ready. Take good care, stay happy, healthy and enjoy life. Bye.